Quarter Prep. Welcome to our summer 2022, heading into 2022-2023 school year. Uh, we're very excited to always push out one of our videos and smile and laugh together as we continue to work hard this summer with our entire team of office staff, facilities, and even teachers donating their time to come back and get ready for the next school year. Uh, we think it's important heading into July that we are actually in the middle of July, heading into our last week of camp, that we touch base with you. We share a little bit of what's been going on over the past few months. Uh, from January till June, we really focus on preparing ourselves to finish the year as incredibly strong as possible and then head into that summer with the goals for the next year. Uh, working at a school is very, very special. It's one of the few careers that we get to have that we know on a daily basis. Everything that we put forth directly impacts the future kids and our future generations and our school, which has 53 years of history and growth that we're trying to maintain and continue to grow full. Both Mike and Jen and myself and our entire team is so appreciative that you continue to trust us with your children. Your, your greatest uh, asset and the greatest thing that we get to do every day is work with them. What we're most excited about is the team that will be coming together on August 3rd as we begin our pre-planning for the 2022-23 school year. Some of our teachers actually traveled as far as Bali, where some of our contentment foundation liaisons currently are. Um, we had four PhD students we, we um, did, in yeah. Europe. Yeah, we did. Yeah, uh, which was also incredible. I got to travel to, to Europe, to Sweden, to Madeira, to present at a couple of different conferences with three of our amazing teachers in conjunction with a, a partnership that we have with Mid Sweden University. We're actually looking and creating uh, research uh, based in education and quality management, which impacts our kids here at Corbett Prep, which is very, very exciting. And we're so excited for those teachers who did take the time this summer to really dig into their passions and, and figure out and strengthen how they can bring that right back directly to your children in the classroom. Um, we've spent a lot of time investing in different curriculum and rolling, getting prepared to roll out new curriculum from all the way pre-K three through eighth grade in lots of different subject areas. So we're really excited to give our teachers the opportunity to go and learn more while also giving them the tools they're gonna to need to take that knowledge and that understanding and directly facilitate that to the students in the classroom with that curriculum. So the investment on my end has been significant directly back into our classrooms with our goal to continue to enhance everything that we're doing with our teacher input and also with the research built. Uh, for many, many years, Dr. Schwarzman led us within brain-based research approaches, and our goal was to continue those ideas with those teachers to research what is very best for the kids moving into this next school year. Uh, we are very excited with Eureka Square coming on board for our school, a pre-K through eighth grade investment in our math curriculum, a math curriculum that has excelled across the board, including some of the top test scores into some of the high schools locally in Tampa. We're also very excited that we're looking at Social Studies Alive from fifth grade through eighth grade, so that hard textbook curriculum is available to our teachers so they can go above and beyond. And you're also gonna see communication upgrades as a school too. We're really focused as we head into IB reaccreditation and also our Florida Council of Independent Schools reaccreditation in 2023, 2024. Uh, Corbett Prep is at an absolute incredible place right now. And it's many thanks to our parents and our families who have helped us continue to recruit great, great student-centered, um, approaches to learning, uh, a focus on what we do for our kids' engagement, because we've always talked about it, and we share this at our open houses, we share this with everything that we do, that it's more than just what we teach, it's how we teach at our school. It's the investment that we make within our teachers. And those teachers that do go above and beyond and give their summer times and work on their PhDs, work on their passions, work on their areas of expertise, that continue to strive um, our academics forward as we, we move into that area. School supplies will be up online by the time you're watching this video. So if you're interested in getting that school supply list, that will be on our website. Our back to school mailing will include information about classroom placement, teachers, um, and other really important information that you're going to need to begin the school year really well. And we're really excited to invite everybody on campus um, Thursday, August 12th for all of your children and our students to come meet their teachers, join the classroom, say hello, just a quick meet and greet, maybe drop off supplies. This is camp ideas. We're still in camp.
So as part of our, our back to school mailing, you're also gonna see information that's built around PFA and our different groups within our PFA. We're excited there will be a little bit of a transition in leadership this year. We're, we are very honored to have Ms. Lipschitz run our PFA for many years. And uh, now we're gonna have a new team coming in that will be announced at that time to uh, uh, move us forward into another group and another exciting aspect for all of our school. Uh, with PFA, you're gonna sign, find volunteer opportunities that we're hopeful you are part of. Our strength is that we partner with our families, and we believe we should all be sitting at the same side of the table. So find that five hours, that 10 hours, that two hours at a golf event, find that opportunity to come to be part of these events. So then you know when you sit down with us, you know who you're talking to, and you know that we're all here for the children. Uh, I think that's important, and I think our PFA is gonna allow us that opportunity to continue to move forward from that. Another area of our school that is obviously on everybody's mind, and it's one of our serious aspects, is safety and security. Uh, it's something that we've all had near and dear to our heart, and as tragedies around our world have continued to happen, we have continued to refocus that idea. And for many years, Corbett has significantly invested in the safety and security of our community and our families, both by security force, uh, through locking within the classrooms, through trainings, and this year will be uh, without difference. And so we will continue heading into our pre-planning. Our teachers will go through some um, active trainings uh, that we're bringing in from outside of our community to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, we have once again walked our classrooms and spent times looking at locks and things of that nature and with the obvious hope that we'd never ever have to deal with that but we want to prepare just like we do for everything in our community, uh, prepare the best that we possibly can. Uh, we've also upgraded our security company and what their background and their significant approaches are too. So that will be a continued focus for us. It'll be something that we will always inform you first before any trainings or before any drills or things like that happen too. But it's something that I felt needed to be addressed as we, we continue to head into the school year. Uh, and I'm super, super proud of facilities that you guys are going to get to experience this year. Thanks to our PFA, to our volunteers, to our donations, to our support, your children are walking into four completely reinvented classrooms your children are walking into two stunning fields that are gonna be the very, very best for our kids to walk on, uh, including new fencing, including new sprinkler systems, irrigation across. You're also gonna see a continued upgrade as we move forward this year. Over the last three years, Corbett Prep Board of Trustees has reinvested over a million dollars directly back into our facilities, and then the PFA has, has significantly enhanced that with over a half million dollars back into our programs as well. And this includes our curriculum upgrades, it includes our teacher training, it includes our facilities, and it's truly magical that our community continues to come together to make that happen. While we look at every aspect of our school, we continue to also focus on our social emotional learning program and the things that differentiate us and how we prepare our students for success and for failure. Uh, within our classrooms, we have teachers at our school that have been here 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, all the way up to 40 years. And as they progress through their, their career, we also have some transitions happening this year that we're so excited about. Uh, one is Ms. Jennifer Jones is transitioning to our wellness specialist, and she will be within the classrooms all the way through working with our students, but we'll also have a direct focus on our Four Pillars of Wellbeing program. Uh, Ms. Marla LeBlanc will be now focusing on our Ruler program, which was a program that Corbett used for many years and has continued to need to be updated and transitioned back into our community to better benefit our students and how they handle their situations. So those two programs will be key for us. Uh, Ms. LeBlanc will still be within the kindergarten classroom as well on a full-time basis. Then we have one other one that is one of our true history of our school, and that is Ms. Debbie Brockmeyer. Ms. Brockmeyer is now gonna join our student success department and continue to support first and second grade students with her years of experience of being part of that student success, being able to pull kids from each area and work directly with all those teachers that she's worked with to how we can best benefit both our highest learners or the students that are needing a little more support. And that is what our goal is, is to continue to reach children where they are and take them to that next level. Another major focus for us over the last 12 months has been to honor the, the history and tradition in our research-based practices in the classroom while also looking forward and, and, and engaging in the research that currently says what's best for kids. And so we have about 15 or so teachers who have been here at this school, some for many, many years and some for only a few years, who are actively engaged in re-looking at our, our whole pedagogical model, which we call the MORE model, Multiple Options for Results in Education. And this is a model that's been built over 25 years um, with Dr. Schwarzman and others' input 
Um, and it's, it, it's truly a masterpiece, but we want to bring it up to date. We want to make sure it's relevant so that it, it, it lasts long into the future here at Corporate Prep. And so much of that more model comes down to teachers. It's such a huge part of who we are. The number one influence of a student's success is the teacher. And when we are able to invest in teachers and send our new teachers to Kagan Cooperative Learning for a week. Where, where they are right now. Yeah. Right now. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and also spend our Tuesday afternoons studying with each other and learning from each other and having those model teachers who absolutely do whatever it takes to be successful in that classroom. That dedication stems from a feeling of investment, feeling like they are at a school where the administration and the leadership invests in those in those teachers. And that comes directly from all of our history with Dr. Schwarzman. And we're really, really excited to announce our Dr. Joyce Burek Schwarzman Endowment Fund directly for teacher training. And with that exciting announcement, the Tomlin family, who has been part of our heart and soul for many, many years, has introduced a lead gift of $100,000 to start the endowment program. Wow. And working with our board of trustees, we will be launching the growth of this fund to be able to continue above and beyond training. This is more than, than the traditional schools that, that move it. This is how we, we've educated our students in gifted training or our teachers in gifted programs. This is how we continue to do cooperative learning at the highest level and have every teacher trained in those ways. Because it's a focus on more than just what we teach. It's a focus on how we teach at quarter prep and how we engage all different types of learners within that classroom. Those are what differentiates the greatest teachers and the best continuing to get better. So this fund is near and dear to all of our hearts. Ms. Jackman's been here for? I guess this is 19. 19 years and started as a fellow, as a resident, and worked her way all the way to principalship. Mr. Johnson came in and went through all the different trainings from there. And 11 years ago, I was a fellowship under Dr. Schwarzman. And all of those were because of the investment in the very best teaching methods and the very best programs. And so near and dear to all of us, near and dear to all of our teachers that have been here for so many years, our board of trustees who has invested in this, the Tomlin family, and then the many families that have since graduated from Corbett Prep and have chosen the right high schools and have gone through the best middle school program and the best elementary program available, that we will continue to fund this program and make it truly magical for the next 50 years of teachers. Our job has always been and will continue to be to put the greatest educators in these classrooms as possible for your children. You're making the investment in our school, this incredible school that we got to call home now, um, and, and, and we wanna make sure that that continues. That's what this endowment does. It makes sure that for generations to come, we put the greatest teachers, the most highly trained teachers into the classroom for your kids. And that Dr. Schwarzman's vision continues and lives here forever. Forever, forever. And that's, that's what our hope is. So a lot of information in this video. We are so honored and so excited for the next school year. Uh, a year that's gonna bring new challenges, new growth, new excitement, mm -hmm. new opportunities. And on a daily basis, we will work together with all of our families to make this an incredible place for kids and to always put our students first. We're here for the remainder of the summer, so if there's something on your mind or you want to reach out and connect with us, please do. We would love to do that. And um, please know that the classroom uh, situation, the classroom setups, who's going to be where, with which teachers, that will come in a mailing in the next couple of weeks. So, so look out in your mailbox for that. I, I have to share my appreciation for our entire office team, mm -hmm. our entire facilities team, all of our teachers. Our camp staff. Our camp staff has been incredible. Uh, my alumni that are here, our alumni that are yeah. here, uh, working with kids every day. We've had over 1,300 kids on campus. Why is that so important to us? Because that's how we keep our tuition, where our tuition is. We keep it there because of our, our funding from our, our sponsors and our donations and our families. We keep it there because we're willing to bust our tail all summer and make it an incredible place and share our school with the outside community and obviously all of our after school activities and programs too. Those pieces of work allow us to allow so many families to join our school mm -hmm. who might be without that opportunity. And we are a private school with a public purpose. So thank you for everything and we are so we're looking forward to four weeks from now. Very excited. Thank you for summer.